Hello, pumpkins. I hope you like Halloween decor because I've been hoarding it like Smaug sitting on his pile of gold in the Lonely Mountain. My name is Aaliyah. Welcome to the House Beyond the Hedge. If you're new here, this is a channel where we do book content, but also, especially at Halloween, we do decor content. So I've been Halloween hunting my little buns off, and I'm going to show you it all right now. We're going to do a big mega haul. I think I might separate it into multiple videos because there's so much, but I'm just going to record it all now because, frankly, I need to get this stuff off the floor of my office and put out so I can start decorating with it. So yeah, let's get started. I think for the first video or like the first section, we're going to do Ross and World Market. So we'll start looking at those. Let's start with Ross because I think Ross has been really great this year. I have found quite a few things there that I'm really excited about. And honestly, I think they might have the best prices out of anyone. Like their prices are so much cheaper even than TJ Maxx or any other place that I've been buying Halloween decor. So, I mean, I'll give you an idea of like what these things cost and you'll see that it is quite a bit less than a lot of the other places that we do Halloween decor hunting. Okay, so first we have this little ceramic jack-o-lantern is so cute. You can never have too many jack-o-lanterns in my opinion. And it lights up so you can see, which is really nice. And I like this one because it had a tester sometimes with the light up ones. I don't buy them if I can't test them because sometimes they're that rainbow light inside and it's cute, but it's not my thing. I want more like Halloween feeling, spooky feeling. And I just feel like the rainbow disco light isn't really that for me. So I really like that this one had a test that you could test it ahead of time so that I could make sure that it was just like a nice warm glow. And this is a solid piece. It is ceramic. And this one was only $4.99 for this ceramic jack-o-lantern. I feel like at some of the other stores like TJ Maxx, etc., probably would have been at least seven or eight dollars, probably more because of the ceramic. So I was really excited to find this. Honestly, I feel like maybe I should have bought another one, but I'm definitely happy to get this one. And I might be using this to decorate my office, so stay tuned for the future if you'll see the background change. I don't know if I'll film a video for decorating that, but let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do that and we could decorate together. But yeah, I think it would look really cute just sitting back there. You can kind of see I have one little um, jack-o'-lantern light right there right now, but I think if I do a couple more in different sizes, it'll really bring the space together. Okay, and speaking of jack-o'-lanterns, I also got this one at Ross. This is one that I definitely feel like I should have bought a second of because I love the face on this one. I feel like a lot of times, especially lately with the Halloween decor, when you get these light-up jack-o'-lanterns, they are like a happier face, like this one. Oh, well pulled that out of there. Well, I hope this works. We're just going to take that out and see. Okay, good. That works. I accidentally pulled the tester thing out. Anyway, oh, as you can see with this one, sorry, I got distracted. It has like kind of a happy face, which I do like that too, but I definitely love a good spooky jack-o'-lantern face. So I really, really love this one. And this one actually is a plug-in, not a battery. So that could go either way. It could be good because you don't have to replace the batteries but it also could be an issue if you don't have anywhere good to plug it in. So back here, I don't really have a good spot to plug it in, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put it back there, but we'll see if I can make it work. But I'm sure I will find some place for it, maybe in the sort of Sleepy Hollow themed living room that I'm gonna do. But yeah, definitely, I feel like you can never have too many of these. This one is a plastic, but I think pretty good quality when is only $6.99. It's a good size, as you can see. Yeah, I'm excited to see what this one looks like lit up. I haven't plugged it in yet, but I'm sure it's going to be great. Okay, up next from Ross. And this stuff was over two different trips to Ross. So some of it was from many weeks ago, the first time I went. And then some of it was from a couple weeks ago when I went again. They had more things out. So I got this. Uh, and it's just a little, well, it says accent rug, but I think of it more as like a door inside the door kind of doormat for when you first come in the door, you know, maybe your shoes are a little dirty. It's kind of that kind of rug, I feel like, rather than like a thick plushy rug. But I just really love the sort of folk art look to it. Like I said, I think I'm going to do a Sleepy Hollow theme in my living room. And then part of that will be sort of that vintage Halloween 
folk Halloween feel and then continue that into sort of the dining room kitchen area with more emphasis on kind of the folk vintage Halloween feel and then, you know, thinning out the Sleepy Hollow stuff. So this is going to be perfect for that, I think. I think I'm going to put it right inside the door to we have like a sliding door in our kitchen dining room area. So I think I might put it right inside there or maybe just right inside the front door as well. And that was only $4.99. So as you can see, the prices are just really a lot lower compared to some of the other places that you will see me share decor from. And then I have, this was also I think from the first shopping trip, I think I just got, or no, I got the jack-o'-lanterns and the rug and this I think in the first trip to Ross. These are just little wooden coasters. Once again, a really scary jack-o'-lantern face, which I love. And I think these are gonna go great in the living room for the Sleepy Hollow theme. And I just love the natural wood. I feel like you don't see a lot of that in Halloween decorations, but I really like that feel for once again, that sort of folk Halloween vibe. So I'm pretty excited about these and these were $4.99 as well. And then in someone else's Halloween hunting video, I saw them share something from Ross that I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. So that was one of the things I was looking for when I went back the second time. And it was this teapot with spiders on it. And unfortunately, I didn't find the teapot at my Ross, but I did find this little creamer, which is the same design as the teapot. You can see it has little spiders, little spider webs, and it has kind of the gold accent there. And I just love this. If you know me, then you know that I love tea, all things to do with tea. Uh, I have many, many teacups, various tea accoutrements, and I love spiders. So this is like the perfect combination. I will probably go back to Ross again to see if they have the teapot. We have two different Ross stores. So I might go to the other one. It's probably pretty picked over by now, but you never know. Sometimes they like continue to get boxes and put stuff out later in the season. So it's always worth a shot. And this is like a thing I will use all year round. And if I find the teapot, I will also use that all year round. So I was very excited to at least find this, even if I couldn't find the teapot. And this one was $4.99 as well. I feel like a lot of the stuff there is $4.99, which is great. It makes it easy to like add in your head as you go too, you know? Sometimes you're like grabbing stuff and you're like, you get up to the register and it's like, oh, that's a lot of money. But when everything's $5, you just like have your stuff in your arms. You could be like five, 10, 15, 20, you know? Just count it up really fast to make sure you're not overspending. So I like that. All right, up next, another spider thing. <laughs> also from Ross. It is this little trick or treat tote bag. As you can see, I just love the little spider and I love that it's kind of like a raised, almost like embroidered feel, which is really nice. And it has these rope handles. It's just a good like all purpose little bag. Once again, it says trick or treat tote bag. I feel like you're supposed to use this to go trick or treating and get your candy in, but I will just use it as like a purse basically. When I go and do errands or whatever, I can just throw my stuff in here easily. So really, really stoked about that. Love me some spider stuff. And this one was $3.99 and it's on both sides, which is nice. I don't remember the exact patterns now, but they had other more like Halloween-y ones with like orange. And I think there were ones with like skeletons and etc. So if you're looking for a good trick-or-treat bag for your kid or anyone that would be going trick-or-treating and something sturdy that you can just continue to reuse uh, over and over again and not just a Halloween, um, these were really nice. Okay, the next thing, I wasn't like, oh my god, I have to have that for like the design or whatever, but I have another sort of soup mug thing that I use all the time to heat up and eat soup. It was a cute one. I think it's in one of my Halloween haul videos from last year. It says like, oh my gourd on it or something. It has a little picture of like a gourd, a squash. So I really liked that, but I use it all the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this because I will just use this a lot all year round. It's not just like a Halloween thing. And this one is like a nice bigger size even than the one I have. So this is a soup mug. You see these a lot nowadays. <laughs> nowadays like I'm an old person back in my day we drank our soup out of a can no I don't know <laughs> anyway yeah you'll see these a lot which they're really handy you can just pour if you do like a can of soup you can pour it in there stick it in the microwave they have a lid that with a little vent um and then I feel like someone told me once what this is for and now I forget but they have like these little it almost looks like a little timer but it's not on the top where you can adjust the number I think it might be like what date you put stuff in there maybe you can be like oh I put stuff in here on the 25th and then you'll know how old it is correct me if I'm wrong if you know what that's for and that's not the thing 
that it's for, then please let me know. But I just thought this one was cute. It says Eye of Newt, kind of got that witchy feel, which I like. Um, and it's a good size, so I will definitely be using this. And this was only $3.99, so I couldn't pass it up. I'm going to be eating my soup out of this later. Let's see. Do we have anything left from Ross? Oh, yeah. One more thing. Let's talk about mugs. Do I need more mugs? No. Do I have a lot of mugs already? Yes. <laughs> and I use my mugs. I use them all the time. I use at least one a day, sometimes more. So I definitely use all of the mugs I have. And I usually try to get really like practical mugs because I do want to be able to use them. But you'll see this and then the next thing are both just like the most impractical mug, but I just couldn't resist them. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I have a mug problem. Let me know if you have a mug problem or like what's your weakness item? Mine is definitely mugs because I just, if they're cute and I don't really have space for them, but I'll, I'll make space because, <laughs> am I right? How could I not buy this? Come on, come on, look at it. It's like one of those vintage trees on top of the skull. It has a little bat. It lights up, which I haven't tested yet, so I don't know. I'm going to open this right now, actually. This was $6.99, which for Ross is like the most, maybe, I think it's the most expensive thing I got there, but it's like a pretty serious item. So like, I don't mind paying $6.99 for that. But let's open it and see if we can see what the lighting up looks like here. Oh, oh God, I hate styrofoam so much. Ooh. Ugh, I just hate like the noise that it makes. Okay. Let's look at this first. So this actually is a pretty usable mug. Like it's round at the top, very drinkable, I think. Oh good, hand wash only. That's what you love in a mug. Damn. Crap. I usually check to make sure you can put them in the dishwasher because I hate hand washing things. I might put it in the dishwasher anyway. It was too ridiculous not to get. Okay, so we got that part. Then we have the top. Let's see if this is gonna work. Ready? No. <laughs> That's a real bummer. I wonder if it's like the battery. Oh, something happened. I saw like a little flash. This is a problem when you can't test stuff ahead of time. So that is kind of a bummer. It might be the battery. So I'm going to, you can open it up and replace the battery here. So I'm going to try and do that. It definitely does. I can see like a little flash every now and then when I like switch the switch back and forth. So that gives me hope that it's not totally dead and it's just like a battery issue. I don't know. Could be a connection or it could just be that the battery has so little juice that it's just flickering. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. I'm not gonna return it because I think it's still a cute mug. Like I'll still use this and it still looks cute even if the light up part doesn't work, but I think I can get it to work. It's a little disappointing, but I have not given up hope. I think I might be able to do something about it. So definitely a big letdown though for the video. The big reveal was not a reveal. So while we are still on the topic of mugs that are ridiculous and not very practical, I think that was all the stuff I got Ross. So now we're gonna do World Market. I just got one Halloween thing at World Market, but I will say, don't sleep on World Market. They actually had a lot of really good Halloween stuff there. I feel like you don't really see people do hauls or Halloween hunting videos at World Market much. And honestly, I'm not really sure why because they had a lot of good Halloween stuff. I should have taken some footage to show you, but I just was busy doing a lot of errands that day and I didn't really think about it. I limited myself to just one thing. Um, I got a couple other things there, but they weren't Halloween, so I'm not going to show you. So I just limited myself to this one Halloween thing, but they did have a lot of other stuff that I really liked. I was just trying to be, you know, reasonable and not buy all the things. So, okay, so this is what I got at World Market. It is a haunted house mug. The top comes off here. I don't know. It's just so cute. I just could not resist. Look at the little jack-o'-lantern, little spider webs, and then there's like a little raven or crow at the top. I just really loved it. And it was only $10. It's not the most practical mug because square mugs are kind of a pain to drink out of, but I'm going to try and use it during Halloween season at least. And it's nice to have a couple like really special Halloween mugs. I have a lot of Halloween mugs, but like I said, they're much more practical ones I use all the time. So I kind of let myself 
get a little bit crazy and get a fun one. So yeah, this is something they had at World Market. They had really pretty glassware, a lot of like dining kitchen stuff. I would go check it out. Honestly, they are doing a good job with their Halloween there. And I feel like not enough people are talking about the cool stuff there. So, okay. So I think that is going to be it for this section. We just did Ross and then the one thing from World Market. I want to keep these videos in a little bit shorter consumable length. So I'm just going to, I think, break this into three videos. So this will be the end of the first video. Please let me know which item was your favorite or if there's anything that you spotted that you really wanna go and try and find at Ross or World Market. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's at House Beyond the Hedge. If you wanna follow me on Twitch and watch me play cozy video games, it's at Trusty Parasol on Twitch. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this portion. I almost said stick around because I'm literally gonna do the other sections right now, but I guess please come back next time for the next video which I will try and get these up maybe a little closer together so that you don't have to wait to see the whole mega haul in one go. So yeah, tune in for that and always remember to keep the kettle warm because I will see you next time.